Hey guys, I'm back in the last part and unlocked Zhang He's level 11 weapon, the Infernal Talons. And now, we're going to unlock Pang Tang's level 11 weapon, which had a total of 2 votes. So, just like any other level 11 weapon, we have to go to Legend Mode. And since we're going for Pang Tang's, we have to go to his Legend Stage. And I'll show off the 6 mile like always. Alright, here we go. So, we already know the narration and the special rules, so move on. We know the objectives, we know the unit info, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the tornado staff at level 10, the items, I'm going to swap out the speed squirrel and replace it with the way of Musu, and I'm going to swap out the wind squirrel and replace that with the master of Musu. I have my reasons for it, but anyways, I can't have any bodyguards with me, so we'll move on, and that pretty much covers it. So let's do it. Alright, so in order to obtain the S rank here and unlock Pong Tong's level 11 weapon, you pretty much have to success. Uh, you pretty much have to pull off every single strategy for Pong Tong and not fail any of them. Also, you have to get 450 KOs. There's no real time limit, so you should be good in that department. Anyways, so the first thing I'm gonna do is not go for the Juggernaut, but secure these two gates. So, I'm gonna do what I can to attack uh, these troops, but also focus on my true moves to attacks. Just like Juga Liang's, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's fucking brutal. Alright, so that's one gate down. You have to keep on gaining favor. If you lose favor at all, whatsoever, you'll lose the weapon. So what I'm going to do is, well, first off, secure these two gates right away. I'm not going to really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? I have to rush that, but then... After that, take my sweet ass time because I'm really in no rush for this weapon. Alright. So, that strategy hold off properly the way I wanted to, uh, if that made any fucking sense. We'll grab the siege ramp later. Much later. But right now, we'll go and continue on and defeat the troops and defeat Yu Ying. That way, we could get the juggernauts. That's fine. Yeah, that's fucking broken. Holy shit. I don't even mean that in a bad way. But, uh, I wonder how it's going to be effective against Yu Ying. Or how effective it will be against Yu Ying. Let's go inside. And I'll slowly take out the troops. Like I said, I'm in no rush.
You know what? Let's go for the gate. Wow, did I really just one shot that guard captain, a uh, gate captain? Yeah, I, I definitely like this strategy. <laughs> Anyways. There we go. Let's bring everyone in the middle, and then uh, we'll do this. Is there a gate behind Yui Ying? No. I know it will appear later though. Yeah, let's be careful now. I'll fill my Musu meter and then we'll take out the uh We'll take out Yui Ying and take over the juggernauts. I see she's coming towards me. Well, she's moving somewhere. She's heading over here. Now let's see how it works against uh, a playable. Why am I trying to... Uh... Yeah, that's insane. Oh, wrong way. That was kind of the plan, by the way. Oh, that was not part of the plan. That was, though. Alright, let's, uh... Let's run away from the Juggernauts, because I don't want to destroy them. Because the plan is to keep them all intact, and not lose them all. And let's not get killed in the process, too. Yeah, I might just have to go and grab some health. Like I said, I'm in no rush for this weapon. I wouldn't recommend bolting in and defeating everything in sight. Be smart about it. Especially for the fact that I believe if we lose the Juggernauts or destroy the Juggernauts, before defeating Yui Ying, then uh, we'll lose favor. So we can't afford that to happen. And that will finish her off. Yeah, that that makes his true Musu attack fucking broken with the Vorpal Orb equipped. I must withdraw for now, my husband. But um, I'm definitely not complaining about that. Anyways, we got the Juggernauts. And now we gain more favor. Now it doesn't really matter if I use my Musu attacks around those Juggernauts because I will take them all out.
I think that's all of them. So we'll move on. Um, that is if I don't get trapped by my own juggernauts. Anyways. Now I don't have anything really to worry about until I um, face Zhuge Liang. Anyways. I could have sworn I heard something. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I could have sworn I heard something else drop. Uh, let's go down here. We'll start from the bottom and head to the top later. Yeah, sorry for me not really talking that much. I mean, this weapon requirement is pretty straightforward. And for me personally, it's going to take a lot of more of uh, patience than anything. Not, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that it's going to take quite a bit. And I don't mind taking my time for a level 11 weapon. As long as I don't fuck up at the most important parts, that's all that matters. I'm just saying. Anyways. So now we have to take over the obelisk. But let me uh, defeat more troops in the process. That way I can actually uh, rack up the KOs and not fully go straight for the guard captain just yet. Because at the moment I don't need to. So that helps. Also, the gate captain that's guarding that gate over there. That'll be in a bit as well. Anyways. Take out the gate captain without having to worry about reinforcements, then uh, I'm gonna definitely take full advantage of that. Now, here comes the reinforcements. Once I defeat this group over here. I'm going to go straight for the guard captain that has the uh, full control of those obelisks. There's also a bombardier here. Do not defeat that bombardier. You need to take out the uh, guard captain first. And there you go. Um, that does not help at all. Alright, now 
now we're good. Yeah, let's get back over here. That way we can get the uh, juggernauts over here. And we can defeat all the troops over here as well. Like I said, getting the KO count, I don't know if I said it already, but I will here. Getting the KO, KO count requirement, it will be very easy to do. You're not timed, so I don't have to worry about that. Unless I am timed, then I don't know about it, but anyways. Uh, but from my knowledge, I don't think I am timed. They took out one of my juggernauts. That's fine, though. know there's health over here. I think that's health over there. So, nope. Really? Okay. That's strange. Uh, yeah. Let's just, uh, grab my horse and head back. So how many juggernauts did they take out? I know there's health over there too, but you know what? Yeah, fuck it. I'll just grab the health over there. And I'll grab that in the process. So, we need to gain all the favor possible. That also means we have to take over the other set of obelisks up on top. But before I even go and do that, I'm going to go and secure the gate. The gate that was originally, well, if you're starting the game from the beginning, it will be right behind Yu Ying. So, we'll take out that gate, then head upwards. So far, so good. We secured the gate. Now, we'll defeat the troops that are chasing my Juggernauts. And I think I have five left. Because I, I saw one get destroyed. But it doesn't matter if they get destroyed. I personally prefer to have all of them intact. But if I lose one or two, I'm not going to cry about it. Just make sure you don't lose them all. Uh, I haven't really seen personally what happens if you do lose them all. But I would strongly recommend you not really try to see what would happen. Uh, unless you're in the mood for experimentation. Right now, for me, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Especially for the fact that I am recording and it could potentially fuck up my weapon run. So, uh, yeah, let's be careful with that. Anyways. So, Zhuge Liang's morale is down to nothing. Help out a little bit. Alright, that should be the rest of the troops. There's too many of them. But like I said, take your time. I would say go for quality and not quantity. Well, if you want to make that as a metaphor. Now the problem is you have all these fucking nut, fucking fucking nuts, uh, juggernauts. Uh, wow. Anyways, 
you have all these fucking juggernauts spinning around and you're trying to get your horse and uh, that doesn't help. Anyways. How much time have I wasted so far? I can't I gotta make sure I don't clock at the time. I'm just saying. Anyways. that gate respawn? No. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I really don't want to go back and secure that gate. Unfortunately, for the fact that we're trying to go and take out or take control of the other obelisk up there, we don't have to worry about reinforcements reappearing. That's fine. Let me go and grab the health over here. I know there's health right by this gate. Typically, there's usually health by gates. All right. So I'm gonna go over here and continue on with my attacks. And I should be at the 450 KO count real soon. If for some reason you get all of the strategies, or if you pull off all of the strategies that Pong Tong has planned, and you don't see the weapon pop up, you might need to get a couple more KOs. So just uh, a fair warning. But I think I should be good. Should, not will. That will help me trying to secure the gate. Yeah, let's not get comboed by a fucking private. Let's go for the second patch of Opolis. Same thing. There's a bombardier. Do not go for the bombardier. Go for the god captain. And there we go. If I'm not mistaken, if you take out the bombardier before the god captain, he'll destroy all the Opolis. So, uh,. Be careful with that. Anyways. Now, what I want to try to do here is defeat the batch of troops over here on the top section here and on the bottom section. Because uh, they're going to go for the siege ramp when we actually secure it. And once again, there is a bombardier in that section there. Do not destroy the bombardier. Go for the god captain. Or 
bombader. Whatever, whichever way you want to call it. Tomato, tomato. I don't think I'm gonna get go. Nope. Those juggernauts send those troops fucking flying. If you try to use a moose to attack, you may miss them because they will. You already know. <laughs> they shoot them far and they can fuck up the moose to attack. So, anyways. Uh, I heard that. There we go. So I'm gonna go closer to the castle, if that made any fucking sense. So I could go and take out these batch of troops over here. Because once we take out the uh, bombardier, I'm talking about like after I take out the guard captain, um, and we take over the siege ramp, there will be reinforcements that will appear, but they will defect to your side. So, you can take your time getting that siege ramp up, but right now, we'll just, uh... Do this. There we go. And I'll take out the troops over here. Or we'll try to. Because as you can tell, the juggernauts are going to send them flying. Very weird to see. Oh, that was probably the juggernaut attack that the private was blocking up. Because I have the Master Musu equipped, as you know. So now, what I'm going to do is go for the final guard captain. And we'll take out the uh, guard captain to take control of the siege weapon. But we gotta be careful by not getting hit by those obelisks. Um, I think I went the wrong way. Oh, I think I need to destroy one obelisk. Or some oh, I see it now. Damaged, but usable. There is no use crying over what has already been taken. Make sure the siege ramps are destroyed. And now you're gonna have the ambushes, but don't worry about that because they will defect to your side. Like so. Since your uh, favor is really high. And uh, my time is really up there. So now all I have to do is wait, and that's the annoying part, because uh, typically if you were not to have the troops defect, or if you have troops in this section here where uh, you, let me try to find the right words here, if there was troops over here, you could really go for those troops and kill out the time that way, but there's nobody here. So I'm going to have to create my own way to kill at the time. So, I'll go for these five right here. This is just me strictly trying to find ways to kill time because it will take quite a bit for that siege weapon to show up or to 
the siege ramps to go up. Show up. Ugh. Long day, long part. believe the KO count that is required if you don't see the weapon pop up after you pull off everything up until the point where the siege ramps go up is 550 but I have to wait for the ramps to go up in order for me to get the last remaining five KOs but like I said that's only if the weapon doesn't pop up for some weird reason weird reason anyways Now it's just me waiting for the wet, uh, the siege ramps to go up, and uh, once again, it does take a lot of time, especially when I have nothing to do. So, anyways, I'll fill up my Musa gauge in the meantime, and I can go up those ramps with the horse. So I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyways, like I said, it takes a lot of fucking time, and it goes by so slow when you have nothing to do. As you can see, there's nobody on the outside for me to kill. So, yeah. There we go. I'll wait for the other one to go up. And we're set. There we go. Now let's get the remaining KOs. I think now I have to go for Zhuge Liang. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the weapon pops up after you complete the stage. So powerful. See, there you go again, talking down to people. That's one thing I really don't like about you. I see. So you are determined to fight me. Sure. Let's determine who's better. Once and for all. There you go, there's the weapon. Now all I have to do is complete the stage. Which that itself is not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna make do with it. And Zhuge Liang is actually pretty fucking fast, so be careful.
and that will finish him off. And that's a win. Alright, that's another one down. That went pretty smoothly. I mean, it did take me a long fucking time, as you can tell. But, it went pretty smoothly. Our KO count is 598. You know, maybe that one part where I almost got killed by Yui Ying. Because I was trying to be a little overconfident. I was a little overconfident there. But anyways, our KO count is 598. We defeated both Yui Ying and Zhuge Liang. Obviously, we had to. Uh, our clear time is 31 minutes and 58 seconds. The points, bear with me, because it is a lot. Five thousand seven hundred points. Oh uh, well, that's the bonus. Eight thousand six hundred and twenty-eight points. Not that it matters because the rank and the points are at max. And there it is, the level eleven weapon, the Great Phoenix. And just like any other level eleven weapon, the attack power is a plus sixty, and the four items that are equipped to it are the Dragon Amulet, which gives you additional moves to attack or addition, uh, additional range, not range, but if Max is out, uh, wow, I'm really, the words are coming right in my mind, but it's not coming out when I speak it, uh, it increases your Musu meter, that's what the Dragon Amulet does, uh, that's a level 14, the Naman armor, bow defense, level 20, cavalry armor, uh, mounted defense, level 20, and the 7 star sash, which gives you additional luck. Additional luck. Level 7. In order to get it, once again, long fucking day and long fucking part. Um, in order to get this weapon, all you have to do is make sure you don't foil or, or fail any of Punk Tung's uh, strategies or ploys. So, gain favor everywhere and make sure you don't lose any. And when you approach Zhuge Liang, uh, whether or not you get the 450 KOs before or after, but... In my case, I got the 450, well, 550 technically, um, and triggered the cutscene, and I got the weapon. So make sure you succeed in every single strategy. Don't fail any. Rack up the KOs, 450 to 550. Uh, 550 just for safety measure, but the main requirement is 450. And uh, approach Zhuge Liang, and the cutscene will trigger the weapon. At that point, you should have 550 by the time you approach Zhuge Liang. Just based on what I did. Anyways, so that's the weapon and that's how you get it. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. The grade, obviously we got an S rank, but it was just a matter of points. We got another 100. And we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, Extreme Legends. Well, in this case, it really is Extreme Legends. And I'll see you in the next part where we will go and lock another level 11 weapon. And the next level 11 weapon we'll be getting is Zhang Jiao's. So, peace out.